Welcome back to BeamNG Drive. But every time I crash, the car gets longer. Just like my car. Alright, I said the funny. Now we can happily carry on with the video without any further phallic jokes. The car we're driving is the Gavril Roma, which is already pretty long on its own, at around 5 meters. Just like my car. I literally just said no more pee pee jokes. My god. But 5 meters is absolutely nothing compared to what it will be at the end of the video. Though, there is a problem. With more length comes more weight. To prepare for that, I went with a turbocharged diesel V8, pumping out a respectable 250 horsepower and a stupid 600 newton meters of torque. Though, I'm not quite sure it will be enough, so we may have to upgrade it later on. As for the suspension, I did absolutely nothing, so hopefully, it holds up. Hopefully. But anyways, that is not a problem right now. What is a problem right now is AI. What the fu- So, you may be wondering, in what capacity will the car get longer? Oh bro, are you serious? So, you may be wondering, in what capacity will the car get longer? Well, I'm wondering the same thing. So let's find out. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Not a crash, the car still drives perfectly fine. This boy can drift though. I mean, I can drift, of course. The most skilled driver to have ever lived. The pigeon was green, okay? It was seamlessly blending in with the vegetation, so th there was no possible way anyone could have spotted it. Ah, and so gentlemen, the car is 25 centimeters longer. But what does that look like? As you can see, it is literally being stretched from the middle, which leads to this really cute side panel. Isn't it just adorable? Though I do wonder, will it keep increasing in 25 centimeter increments? Or will it double and give it to the next person? Well, there is only one way to find out. Why does it keep drifting? Bro, it's actually ridiculous. <laughs> what the hell? It's so easy to. Look at that, look at that. Wall tap. So earlier, I was talking about how the car would get heavier as it got longer. And well, how much heavier did it get from just 25 centimeters? He mojado mis bragas. Well, from just 25 centimeters, we gained 35 kilograms. Honestly, I don't know if that's good or bad. But what I do know is bad is the fact that this car simply will not fit on these roads if it gets, you know, much longer, if it ends up being exponential. So yeah, soon we'll find out. I wasn't thinking that soon, but. Ah! And so, gentlemen, our vehicular device is now half a meter longer. Oh is now half a meter longer than it originally was. Oh, look at that! Unfortunately though, this still doesn't confirm if the car will get longer 25 centimeters at a time, or if it will double in length, which I really hope it doesn't. Now guys, honestly, you have no idea how bad that would be. Like, I would be actually f***ed. I think we just took the wrong exit. Like, this road does not lead to the highway. And it is quite sketchy! In France, that's what you would call which means and as you can clearly see, apart from the shaking, there is absolutely zero damage. Apart from that. Still, I wouldn't worry about that too much. I think we'll get to the highway no problem whatsoever. My god, these pigeon jump scares, holy shit. Drift. <gasps> Not a crash. I'm kind of starting to believe Shortcut. Well, gentlemen, as you can see, it doubled in length. I am honestly scared <laughs> to look back. <laughs> Bro, this is <laughs> this is actually devious. Let me try and drift it, actually. Dude, it's a bus! <laughs> Where's my computer lagging? Oh, not again, not again. I have a literal 4090 and 32 threads. How is it lagging? Is it the new BeamNG update? Did it install weird? I don't know, man. Anyways, we have bigger problems now. Just a little norte. Hmm. Norte. Oh, heli section. Oh my god. Nah, bro. No, bro. 
Oh, we are far. So, gentlemen, our Roma is now two meters longer. And talking about weight, it is now 600 kilograms heavier. That, oh my god, that pigeon was fast. In fact, it is kind of taking up some speed here in the dark. <laughs> And yeah, it's getting terrible now because I can now feel the length, but I can also feel the weight. It's literally the worst of both worlds. Italy moment. I'm gonna try and wiggle my way through here. Come on, it's not that bad. Okay, barely touched you, shut up. All right, we're good. But yeah, I can feel the brakes are worse. I can feel it struggling for power. I don't know, man. Look at this, look at this. No, okay, we're good. Which has given me the confidence to try and drift it. Oh, maybe not yet. Let's see here. <gasps> okay, maybe I'm getting a little too excited. I should calm down. But yeah, you know, it's not as bad as I thought. It's actually... It's actually quite alright. Uh, uh, uh. Not a crash. Come on, move. Man, I should stop spawning wires, though. I mean, just look at that. Look at... That is crazy. That is crazy. Crazy. What the? <laughs> you know what, though? I think we should off-road it. So, I have enabled all-wheel drive. Why is it not bad? What the hell? I am actually astonished. Like, really. Look at that, look at that. Gapped! Get gapped! Man, this is seriously impressive. Oh no, we missed the highway! Every time I get distracted and make shit ten times harder for myself. Every time. At least I'm getting better at driving. Ah! <laughs> four meters, four meters! Is that funny to you? And if that wasn't sad enough, it is now one ton heavier than it originally was. So yeah, we really gotta hurry up and, you know, get to the highway before this becomes... Oblongo. Now, you may be wondering, how am I making the car longer? Well, this is a mod made by someone who has already made me suffer quite a bit during this year. This is the same person that got me into the 24 hour Beam and G race. Oh shit, oh, 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 no! <laughs> my wheel! And now, while I was happily on vacation and filming stupid videos for my Instagram, which you should immediately follow, this dude sends me this mod, forcing me to drive back home and record this stupid video you're watching right now. We are talking about none other than Filmin. And guess what? If this video gets 50,000 likes in the first 10 days, he will release the Oblong Roma to the world. By the way, Phil made a video on his channel showing how he made this devious creation. So yeah, you should definitely go check it out after you finish watching this video. Now guys, I'm gonna be honest, this isn't the highest quality mod I've ever seen. In fact, it's... Oh no. And so gentlemen, the Vico device is now eight meters longer than what we began with. And on top of that, it is also two tons heavier. Guys, I'm gonna be honest, I have absolutely no idea how we're gonna make it across these tight turns. Euro truck moment. We are barely getting around these corners now. So if it doubles again, we're essentially gonna be stuck here. Which is why we need to hurry. Actually, not quite. Uh, but I mean, if we use cockpit view, we actually do not see the whole car. So it's like having a normal car, you know? Right? <laughs> Bro, this is a whole ass corridor, what the hell? But yeah, you, you really would not know. Especially since Beaminji's mirrors don't show you the car. Come on, devs. The thing is, though, guys, I'm not so sure I'll last until the highway. So I was kind of thinking that we could... How do I say this? Throw ourselves off the cliff to reach the highway below. Yes, we would gain length, but at least... Not a crash. But you see, at least we would have a chance, you know? Because when it gets to 16 meters, it's gonna be nasty. But I don't think we can make it down because this guardrail simply... <gasps> does not end. He drove off, so that is not a crash, okay? <laughs> Alright, now comes the tricky part. These roads are rather tight, so let's see how this goes. Nah, I think it's manageable. Actually, kind of easily. Let me just... Yeah, I mean, you gotta pull a couple three-pointers, but... 
What is he doing? Also, is it just me or does Intercom behave kind of goofily? I'm oh, this one is kind of tight. Uh, can we make it? Oh yeah, barely. Oh, oh. Pessima, what are you doing? I'm back at block. And just like that, no issues whatsoever. And this one is even easier. Look at that. I'm gonna try and make it in one whole turn. Maybe that's not possible. Maybe if I finesse the handbrake or something. Let's see. Oh! Okay, so... 16 meters. Oh, we're not gonna make that. Let me at least try. Oh, no, bro. Easy. Easy. Okay, maybe not. Turns out we do need a bit of maneuvering. What is that pigeon doing? We are struggling a bit with traction, but I think we can make it. Hey, look at that. Easy. <laughs> bro, look at how it turns. It's turning sideways, what the hell? But uh, you know what, it's not too bad. It is not too bad. And in copy view, you would never know. Now, when it comes to weight, this bad boy weighs as much as a which is about 8,000 kilos. For context, the T-series is like 6,500 kilos. Do you want to die? Why is the camera getting lower? I'm not doing anything. <laughs> what the hell? Oh wait, I know where it is. It is time to ask my Discord server if we should upgrade the shit out of the engine. By utilizing illegal metals and installing a super juicy turbocharger, we get almost three times the performance of the previous engine. And the result is... This is not even funny. That's right, gentlemen. 32 meters. So, as you can see, cockpit view is... <laughs> kind of weird. <laughs> this is like an Olympic swimming pool. What the hell? Man, this looks so <laughs> wrong. We are still gaining speed, which is kind of crazy. Especially considering the fact that this thing weighs 12 and a half tons. Oh, it's not liking the road here. Bro, imagine racing in this. Oh no, wait. That was a stupid idea. I never said that. And I will definitely not make a video if you guys comment that you want to see it. Please don't. The length of your penis is inversely proportional to the length of your car.